What is up bros and brats? I am Ink Slasher and today the trailer for the Infinite Warfare DLC 1 came out. Now this DLC is going to be called Sabotage and it includes four new multiplayer maps along with a zombies map that actually looks really really good. Now on top of that there was actually a really huge mistake that was made in the trailer that I don't know if everyone caught but it's a pretty damn big mistake and I want to get your guys take on it because I don't know whether they made this mistake on purpose and are hinting at something in the future or whether it was just a complete mistake altogether but we'll get to that in a second first of all i can't actually show you the trailer in this because last time i did that in a video infinity ward actually put a copyright strike on my channel and so yeah we're not going to do that because i don't want another one of those it's really ridiculous that they did that but that is beside the point so let's talk about this trailer i'll show you some screenshots and talk about all of the different maps and as always guys it would really be appreciated if you could hit that like button i really do appreciate it it really does help with the channel so let's see it would be absolutely insane i'm gonna ask for it but if we could get four or likes on this video that would be amazing but anyway the first map we're gonna look at today is noir now this map actually takes place in a futuristic brooklyn now if you don't know what brooklyn looks like currently right now it's pretty dark pretty grimy apparently in the future it's gonna be pretty dark pretty grimy if you look at the kind of screenshots that they showed us throughout the trailer one of the most iconic ones is going to be the brooklyn bridge one now the cool part about this is that cars aren't actually driving over the brooklyn bridge they are flying over the brooklyn bridge because again it's a futuristic brooklyn which is a pretty cool looking thing but the main points that i saw from the screenshots is it looks pretty close quarters it looks like there's going to be a lot of really tight turns and that the buildings are going to be two levels i didn't see See any that were three levels high all of them that i saw were two levels high kind of reminds me of a chinatown from call of duty 4 if you ever played that map the next map is called neon now neon is probably in my opinion the most interesting one out of all of these because it reminds me of the map spire from black ops 3 it has these really great neon colors it's super super colorful and i think it's going to be kind of like the fun map out of the four that are coming out now this one the only thing i didn't really love about it is it's somewhat random they said cars randomly spawn in and get near Way, you can use them as cover also it's a training simulator so when you actually kill someone they break up into polygon pieces because you're in a simulation in this map also they said that the b flag in domination is an elevated b flag which is something we don't see very often in call of duty they also mentioned that the map is a z shape i don't know about you but i can't even really think of any z shaped call of duty maps off by hand right now all i know is that most call of duty maps are the shape of a capital h with a line down the middle so it's it's going to be really interesting to see how this one actually plays in the shape of a Z. The next map here is personally the one I am most excited for because it doesn't look futuristic at all. It's actually called Renaissance and it takes place in Venice. So you're amongst the canals and churches. It looks really, really pretty. That's the only way I can describe it. It just looks super, super nice. Now, the way they ex uh, explain this one is that it's going to be a small close quarters map. So SMG shotguns are kind of going to be really good, but there's a couple of lanes where snipers will reign supreme. But overall, this is the one I'm looking forward to because it doesn't look futuristic and overall it just looks really really beautiful and the one that i don't really know how i feel about is actually a remake map it's a remake from a map from modern warfare 2 and if you know anything about me modern warfare 2 is one of my favorite call of duties of all time so you'd think i'd be stoked for this however it's a map i didn't really love in modern warfare 2 it's afghan it's an all right map i played it i enjoyed it but it's not like one of the most iconic maps from modern warfare 2 if you ask me but i don't know a lot of people really did like this map and they really liked it for sniping and trick shotting so some people might enjoy that so you can let me know what you think of them bringing afghan back but the one thing i will say is it does look incredibly similar to afghan when i first saw the screenshots i was kind of questioning it but then when i really looked at it it was pretty memorable just thinking back to the different spots on the maps it looks pretty damn similar which is a good thing just with increased graphics now the one thing i will say is this map does now take place on mars which i mean kind of makes sense with the overall color scheme of the map but i mean not a lot of people are going to really hate the futuristic aspect to it however i still Still don't know how I feel. Do you are you glad Afghan's coming back? Is that a map you wanted them to bring back? Let me know down in the comments below. But now the piece de resistance. This thing is incredible. The zombies coming in DLC 1 look so good. Like, so insanely good. I am stoked for zombies, and I don't normally even play zombies, so that is saying something. So this zombies is called Rave in the Redwoods, and it takes place in the 1990s. So assumably what they're doing with the DLC zombies maps is the first one, Zombies in Spaceland, took place as a 1980s kind of horror movie vibe. 
in 1990s, the big type of horror movies were slasher films. So the this DLC, the Rave in the Redwoods, is going to be like a slasher film taking place in the 90s. So assumably, DLC 2 will take place in the 2000s, uh, DLC 3 will be 2010s, and DLC 4 will be 2020s. Just assumably. I, this isn't guaranteed. It just seems like that's what they're doing with the different DLCs. Um, but again, that's not confirmed. However, this DLC looks awesome. So like I said, 1990s, it's kind of like a slasher film, takes place in a forest, and the premise behind the map is that these kids were having this giant rave, an all-night rave in the forest, the Redwood Forest, and basically a slasher comes along, and it's actually going to be one of the antagonists in this zombies map is going to be like the slasher, this guy that assumably runs around with an axe and tries to kill you, uh, which is a pretty damn cool idea, and it's going to be really interesting to see how that actually plays in zombies. Now, they said in the trailer that they're not revealing everything, which is good, so we'll have to wait to see how this all plays out. However, they made a huge mistake when showing the zombies, and I don't know if everyone picked up on it, but if we look at these screenshots right here, you're going to notice something right away. That the overlay on the screen is not the zombies overlay. It's actually the multiplayer overlay, which is really, really odd. So in the top left, you can see the mini map, which is actually blacked out. In the bottom left, you can see the score. So there's two teams with score. And then in the bottom right, you can see the rig loadout and all of that stuff, the different score streaks. This is odd to me. Now, I don't know if they're going to be revealing a new type of zombies where you can use rigs and all of that stuff. I doubt it because they already have their zombies so laid out and laid out pretty well, if you ask me, in Infinite Warfare. So it was just really odd to see that in Zombies, and I'm interested to see what your take is on it. Do you think they did it on purpose? Do you think we're going to be able to play multiplayer on the actual Zombies map? I don't really know. I'm just curious to see what you guys have to think, and you can let me know down in the comment section below. But if you enjoyed this video and found it informative, hit that like button. Let me know what you think of DLC 1 down in the comments. I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks better than some of the maps that they already have out, so that's a good thing. It's a step in the right direction, but like I said, let me know what you think down in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, and and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I upload new Call of Duty videos every single day of the week. But thank you guys so much for watching. You can check out my Twitch, Twitter, and Let's Play channel down in the description. And until next time, guys, peace out.